start by creating a new application. Provide a name. And you can optionally provide description as well. The application would have business object, REST services. It can be a web or a mobile application. We're going to start by creating business objects. You can create a new business object from here. Since we're doing a travel approval system, the first thing we want to have is a category of the type of travel. So we'll call this object categories. Once you create an object, you can define fields. So let's have the name of the category. So this would be the category field. This would be a character field. We could also have a target budget. This would be a numeric field. This would be enough for now. Let's look at the data tab. Right now there's no data in the table. We can click to add rows. So we have um, conferences, related travels, and maybe we have a budget of 4,000 for that. Let's add another category. It's customer visit and another budget for this one. As you can see, it's pretty easy to create your own object. There's also other ways to create objects. For example, you can use the data manager. The data manager has a functionality to import a business object based on a spreadsheet. Let's load the spreadsheet. This spreadsheet has two sheets in it, one called travel request and the other one called airlines. VBCS is going to create two objects mapping to those sheets. And then over here, you can customize each one of them. You can, can see the names of each one, and you can also see the data type. For example, let's switch this to be a simple date format. Click Finish to create the business objects. Not only are the business objects created, if there's data in them, they are also going to be imported. So if we now look at the travel request, look at the data, we can see the travel requests that are already been imported from the Excel spreadsheet. So the next thing we want to do is for each of those travel requests, we want to add a field that indicates which category it belongs to. To do that, we're going to go back to the fields, click a new field, and define the category field over here. This would be of type reference, and it's going to reference our categories object and would show the category. We can add another field, for example, the airline field. Again, doing a reference, this time to the airline object. Let's add one more field called the approval or approved, and this can be a Boolean field, indicating yes or no. For each one of the fields, you also have a set of properties that you can set. For example, for the Boolean field, we might want to set the default value to be false. Let's again go back to the categories and add another field here, which would be um, total expenses. This would be a numeric field, and we'll show you that this field can be based on an aggregation. Since we now have a relationship to the travel request, we're going to do total the cost of each flight and display this under the category, like that. This completes our work with creating three business objects. In the next lesson, we're going to see how to create a user interface for them.